so today we have a user driven video and I got a question on one of my other videos dealing with the hyperlink function related to how to extract the link location from a hyperlink rather than having its display text. So you can imagine if we had a whole list of hyperlinks and they have certain display text set, in this case it's the word email. But if I move my mouse over it, I can see that the location is not email, obviously it's going to a certain email address. And I would prefer to have the email address displayed instead of this display text. Unfortunately, there's no function in Excel that allows us to do this. We would actually have to end up making our own function. And in this example, um, it's actually quite a simple one. So to do that, we need to go to the developer tab to create a, to create a function. Now, I realize not all of you will have a developer tab because it's not activated by default. So how we activate the developer tab is by going to the file tab, choosing options. When options pop up, you need to click customize ribbon down the left hand side. And then over on the right under main tabs, you need to put a check mark next to developer. And then press OK. Once you do that, you're going to get a developer tab along the ribbon. So once you have the developer tab activated, you're going to click the visual basic button and that's the first button on this uh, ribbon and when you click that it's going to pop up your visual basic for applications editor and it will list any files you have open in this case i have two open one that already has the code in it and one the one i'm in right now which is blank so what we would want to do is in that file that i would want to create this function i'm just going to right click on the file name here under vba project and then the file name and i'm going to choose insert and then module. And when you do that, it creates a module in that tree and it opens it here on the right hand side. So in that module, I'm going to paste this function that we wrote earlier, one called grab link. So it creates a function called grab link, essentially has some error handling. And what it does is that grab link function is going to grab the hyperlink address from whatever cell I reference. Okay. For more information on this, we would need to talk about some VBA videos, which we can do later on. But this is the text that you'd want to enter into the module. Once you've entered that text into the module, you would then need to save the project. So it pops up and it says, we can't save this in a macro free workbook, uh, this VB project. So what I would need to do is I would need to actually save this file as a macro enabled workbook. So to do that, you can simply click no, it's going to pop up your save as and what you need to do is make sure that you change the save as type to macro enabled workbook. When you do that, it's going to be fine and that code can be saved as part of the file. I'm just going to cancel because I've already saved it. I'm just going to switch over to that file now. So in this file, I've made that function. I saved it here. If I pull it up, you can see it. There it is. There's the function it's saved in the file. And what I can do now is I can actually use that function to extract the link from A1. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and delete what I had there. So we would simply type equals grab link. That's the function we made. Then I need to reference the cell I want to get the link from. Here it is, A1. And then close the bracket. When I do that, it actually grabs the link directly from that and puts it into this cell. It will not make it a hyperlink, however. So you can see it's not a hyperlink. I can't click on it. It might look like one, but I can't click on it. So if we wanted to actually make it a link and remove things like that mail to from the beginning, what we can do is we can enter a function that would look like this. So we'd use the hyperlink function. What do we want a hyperlink? Well, we want to use the link that we've grabbed out of this cell. And then we can actually grab the right hand side of it so we can remove this mail to for the display text and we can see that here and again if you need more information on the hyperlink function well we can go check out the video for that so once you have done that you now have created a hyperlink that is the actual link instead of the display text and this formula could be copied down to multiple rows save you lots of time from retyping and removing hyperlinks so there you have it